hello guys welcome to this tutorial today i'm gonna show you how to build fantastic animations in react and the amazing thing is you just need to write a few lines of code and this library will do all the stuff for you to build great animations for your project so i'm gonna use frame and motion library as you can see it's very powerful you can see with these lines of code when you change the x value it animates it's very powerful let me show you some other examples you know it's interactable and you can move it or it's very powerful i really liked this library it's so simple and powerful fantastic and i built this project to show you the the power of frame motion so it's close and when i click open my box appears i can make it bigger make it normal size small and big and i can rotate it and finally i can make it circle so watch this tutorial until the end because it's gonna be the best animation tutorial that you have ever watched in your life before we start please subscribe to my channel in order to receive more videos like this one do you need to know before watching this tutorial you should know about basics of react and html and css so if you don't know about them first go to down below links and watch those tutorials and again continue watching this okay the first thing that you need to do is to installing the frame motion library using yarn add framer motion and then press the enter button to be installed after you install it uh, let me just explain what we have here it's a empty react.js project i have my app.js file which is empty now i have created two other files which are contains a simple function without anything in it yeah and my css that i don't want to explain them because it's not a css course they are just some css classes and some css properties used to make our lovely project beautiful okay the first thing that i want to do is to import the sidebar and home components sidebar and home and also i need to fill them so i need to return something return a div for now sidebar and just copy and paste it to home and home let me just refresh it we haven't imported them sidebar yeah why it doesn't import them let's do it ourselves sidebar from sidebar and also the same for home component let's add a class name for them class name should be sidebar and for this one should be home so you can see that the class names are applied and then inside the sidebar i'm gonna have several buttons here as you saw in the beginning of this tutorial so let's create a button but i don't want to use the normal button i want to import button from framer motion library so easily can do it using import motion from framer motion and then i can have something like motion dot button instead of normal button i use motion button and it will create a simple button for me but this button is so powerful 
and accept animation props to apply our animations to it. Since I need several buttons and I don't want to use them in this way because it's going to be messy, let's create another component and then reuse it inside this sidebar component several times. So const my button equals to a simple arrow function and it should return so let me change it motion we can copy it from here and then as a prop we can pass unclick unclick let's get it from props you can also create this my button component in separate wide which is better but i don't know why i decided to make it here okay unclick and uh, we can have while hover well and i will explain to you what is it and while tap inside my button i'm gonna have a text so i'm gonna get the children prop and then just add it here to be rendered okay let's use our first button here so my button we should provide onclick function for it let's create another function const on button click and nothing for here and then pass it as a onclick prop on button click on button click yeah and inside it i just want to have for example folder close yeah, as you can see, it is added, but the animation doesn't work. When I hover it, it should be bigger. And when I click on it, it should be a little bit smaller. To apply it, we have two props here, while hover and while tap. Here inside the while hover, I can specify, change the scale of the button. And here also I can change the scale. So I'm going to set the scale to be a little bit bigger so 1.1 and here let's make it smaller 0 0.9 so let's see yeah it works totally fine and when i click on it it will get smaller and get back to the previous state as you can see i didn't do any magic i just added y hover and while tap and here you can for example instead of a scale you can use other per, uh, other css properties like opacity and can be 0.5 so you can see it works so easy let's create the rest of our buttons so just copy and paste it close open big normal and small rotate and finally circle and I want to pass a parameter to this function for each one of them so I can easily do it first add it inside the function and then pass my custom property or parameter which is for this one for example circle and for this it should be rotate For this one should be small 
Oh, I made a mistake. Let's copy and paste all this. Small, normal. Let's close it. Big. And then for the final one, open. Oh, we have one more. And close. And then inside it, I'm gonna get the value. So if I add a console log, I should see the mode when I click on each item. Yeah, you can see it works totally fine. Now I want to have a state inside app.js and pass it to this component in order to change the state. So let's use user state. If you don't know anything about user state, I have another video about it. You can watch it from the top link. So const, let's name it selected mode and a function for changing it, name it set selected mode and it's gonna be use state what do we want to be for the default one it should be closed so let's pass closed and what the problem is i don't know why my vs code doesn't import anything it was working previously <laughs> I don't know when I record it got lazy <laughs> okay I need this function inside my sidebar component so let's easily pass it to this one and inside my sidebar here instead of a useless console log let's use the function that we pass get it from the props and call it mode so for now it doesn't do anything because we changed the state but we haven't used the value of a state anywhere so let's pass it to our home component and then get it from the props inside my home component and let's create our square here inside the home component so Again, I'm going to use motion. I don't need a button here. I just want to have a simple div. So easily can do something like motion.div instead of normal div. And inside it, I want to write programming with method. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it right now underneath this video and smash that like button okay what the error is oh we have forgotten to import motion library yeah and let's set a class name for it to be beautiful it should be shape if i remember correctly yeah that's it and for now just let me apply a simple animation to it and then we continue our project we have a special prop named animate and this prop specify which animation should be run on this item so here we can again use something like we use for while hover or while tap but this animation will run automatically when the page load so i'm gonna set the scale to for example two so you can see it immediately starts working and i want to increase the duration time of my animation to actually runs slower so to do this i have another prop which is transition you can use transitions for several uh, purposes, but here I just want to set the duration. So pass duration to this and for example, 0 0.5 or 
make it 2.5 so you can see <laughs> instead of having uh, just simple and basic animation for this item i want to define a list of animations and then control it with these buttons so here instead of using animate i'm gonna use another feature of frame inversion which is called variations so i'm gonna create variants here and need to pass uh, an object so let's create it first const variants should be an object and here we can define as many as animations that we want for example i want to have an animation to show the box i'm gonna name it open you can choose whatever name you want for the key and then inside your object you can specify your css so here i want to set opacity to be one and x value should be zero it means that the item will be at its position if i set it to minus 10 percent it means that it should go outside of the window go to from this way until the end and yeah so let's make it zero for now and create another animations for example closed opacity should be zero this time and we want to move our shape to the left side so x should be minus 100 percent big can be scale to zero sorry why i said zero it's two <laughs> big normal scale should be 0 0.1 rotate they are just names that i want to use you can name it whatever you want rotate should be you should here specify the degree that you want your shape to be rotated so i want to rotate it one way one round so i use 360 and circle is the last one border radius and then 100 percent it's something like css but it's a little bit different but as you know css you can figure out what does this one do it runs the corners of my shape to be circle so we created these variants but we haven't used them we easily can copy it paste it here but it doesn't work now because we haven't specified which one of these items should be run so we can get the selected mode from the sidebar that we created for example we passed close to the selected mode closed big normal small rotate circle as you can see these are my modes and then i get it from my state which the default value is closed and apply it to my div so instead of this one i just want to pass my string here and mo frame in motion will understand which mode is active and then runs these ones that we specified in the variance prop you can see because the initial value of our state is closed my item goes hide i can also specify the initial mode here we can do it something like closed so you can see that it's by default closed when i click on open 
yeah you can see it make it bigger normal i don't know what these borders are i couldn't face i couldn't see them inside firefox but in chrome it has an issue small rotate circle but there is a problem these two buttons does the same big normal small we probably oh we don't have a small for normal it should be one so let's open it close it make it bigger normal small rotate it so I can easily increase the animation speed using the duration open big now let me show you if I change it to for example 10 percent you can see that the domain of its movement is so limited to 10 percent only let me close it yeah you can see just change it to 100 percent and yeah it's wider domain to be moved we almost finished our project but was it all its power no frame motion is so powerful and if uh, if you go to its documentation you can find lots of functionalities inside it let me just show you one more thing and then you can close this video there is something named controls which is so flexible let me show you inside my app.js i'm gonna create a control Cont controls and it should be use animation prop and then i want to pass these controls to both my child components inside the sidebar let's get it i want to use it here and inside my home i also want to get it and then you can use these controls instead of your animate so here inside my sidebar I can control my animation in code using for example start and then inside this function you can pass an object and set your animation directly so I'm gonna set the scale to 2 so if I click on any of these buttons let me just remove the initial value and variance so you can see it's now bigger and now I can have a switch and mode so for example if it was closed or let's just do it for two of our buttons open and now in this case i can for example set the opacity to zero and in this one set it to one so you can see that you have this power to control every property of your animation directly using controls uh, hook.